Hello everybody, this is the Lysol. Welcome to my week 32 roster update for my main account. I was on vacation for week 31, so I held off on my gearing till week 32 so I could do this. So this is kind of a longer one. Let's get into it. So for this project, I put together this spreadsheet to track my farming. I break my farm up into three tiers of five characters each, give or take, uh, trying to work on one character at a time to their uh, goal and another character to G12 or G13. In that time right now, I'm working on Sith Eternal. I'm working on six, Sith Eternal mainly because I just organically got like halfway there. Uh, as you can see, I'm getting really, really close here. Uh, I have three characters left for Sith Eternal. I also have Armor, Candorous, and Ben Solo here. Ben Solo's for TB Ops and maybe use on my JTR team. Armor and Candorous are to are there basically to replace Watt on my Maul team. The gear changes and the raid changes have provided me with an opportunity to bolster the back half of my roster. Uh, this is a list of characters I'm trying to get to gear 11. Uh, I've made quite a bit of progress this year. I think I'm at, this was 75 characters on this list, not counting the ones in the white down here at the bottom. Uh, I think I have 25 or 26 of these done over the course of this year. Uh, doing basically averaging a little less than one extra gear 11 per week, not including what I'm working on on my normal farming. Uh, this will help basically bolster my the back half of my roster, give me a lot more roster depth, and help with fleets that are underused, making sure that they're all working at the proper level. So I recorded my gearing, so let's get into it. So this is two weeks worth of gearing here. I start by taking Seer up to seven stars, done with her. I take uh, Tarful up to six stars and Marin up to six stars. I'm moving along quite well on the Jedi Knight Cal Kestis. I'm hoping to have them done before the before he comes around the next time, but we'll see. Uh, I activate Scout Trooper here. He's uh, I don't know. I haven't used him yet. I got no comment on him. Uh, I don't have the Kairos or anything to take him up to any ridiculous gear level yet. Uh, it's kind of a back burner thing. I am going to be working on Leia immediately after C, so he will be getting geared up pretty soon. I think I take him up to gear 8. I apply some abilities to him. I might not even have even applied any abilities. I'll take a look at what he needs here, see if there's any Kairos at this level nothing so i move on then we go to where where are we at now oh yeah i believe i go to stark here yeah i take stark up to g13 and then to relic three i had wanted to take stark up to relic five but i think i'm gonna leave him at three for now uh most of the time i want to take him to five because of datacrons but most of the datacrons I use, I would use on my Imperial Troopers. I really just need the first level. It's just something to give them a little extra boost. So Relic 3 is fine for the time being. I, I will eventually get them up to Relic 5, I think. Unless I take another Imperial Trooper up to uh, Relics. Uh, then I take a look at who all I can gear up here. Royal Guard is the only one that I can hit the button. So I take Royal Guard up to Relic 3 as well. So that's two. Now this is two weeks worth of gearing, basically. So that's two C uh, requirements out of five that I had left done. So at this point, I only have Krennic and Sidious and Dooku left over. I was really hoping to do Sidious or Dooku instead of Royal Guard because I don't want to have to do two Relic 6 or 7 characters back to back. I'd rather do a Relic 3, a Relic 7, a Relic 6, a Relic 3, and then a Relic 4. But this was how it worked out. 
Uh, I go looking at some gear that I can buy. It's still not enough to get him up there. I think it's med packs that I was short on. Uh, then I go down and I believe I go and I take Han and Rolo up to Relic 5. Maybe not. Maybe I go for Wicket here. Yeah, I take Wicket up to G12. That's another uh, Leia requirement that's at G12. I'm pretty much all the marquee, non-marquee requirements I have up to G12 or higher at this point. Uh, when the new set of, the last set of requirements came out with Lobot and Chupio and was it CLS and somebody else, I don't remember who it was, but I already had them all except for Drogon. So like, oh, it was, was it R2-D2 to Relic 8? It might have been. Uh, I was able to, uh, well here I take Seer up to G12, so that's a Jedi Cal requirement done. Uh, that set of requirements came out and I was at 4 out of 5 already. Except for R2-D2 just needed to be, needs one more relic level. So it was very, very good for me. Uh, I take Chopper here up to gear 11. Then, where am I? I'm kind of working on the Phoenix Squad a little bit. But uh, aside from C, which I'm actively working on, Leia is the one I am closest to. Leia is the GL I am closest to. So it makes sense for me to just rush it. Uh, it makes sense anyway because the PVE stuff is going to require her. So I'm, I'm happy with the requirements. They, they're very easy for me. Then here I take uh, Rolo up to Relic 5. I just get these knocked out now so that I'm not r pushing for it later. It's something I don't have to worry about later. I know Rolo and Cholo are not great characters. I'm not getting a lot out of taking them up to Relic 5 now. Aside from peace of mind. I that I, It's not Relic levels I gotta worry about later. And since I pretty much just did two Relic 3s instead of taking anybody up to Relic 5 or Relic 7, I had plenty of extra materials to get these two characters up and running. Hopefully by next week, I'll be able to take R2 up to Relic 8. It's a matter of impulse detectors. I don't, I'm not gonna push for it, but if I manage to accrue impulse detectors throughout the week, I'll probably do that. And yeah, here, this is what I'm short on, the, the impulse detectors. I didn't have any currency to spend on them, so I just pass. And then I believe that is it. So we'll go back here. So tracking my status from week to week, uh, going from 7.30 to 8.13, I gained 30,000 GP and went from 9.241 to 9.274 million. Uh, not a huge bump, but a decent enough bump. Definitely nothing like the 7.16 to 7.23 bump. And that is, so halfway through the year, a little more than halfway through the year, in 32 weeks, I have gained, what is it? Two point, I don't know, like 1.4 million GP. That's, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, Zetas remain the same at 198. Omicron's still the same at 21. G13s, I now have 115. G12s, I have 18 still. And G11s, I'm at 45. So for next week, we're going to be working on Count Dooku. Looking at his gear here, uh, we got some security scanners. We've got some med packs. Uh, actually, not that many med packs. Just one set of med packs. Uh, all disparate gear. Uh, very little overlap except for the two sets of security scanners. So it should be pretty simple for me to get him to G13 by Sunday. My goal for next week, is, or my plan for next week, is uh, Dark Side, Light Side, Rex plus two refreshes, Tarful plus one, Saw plus one, and Kairos. Uh, in Cantina, Signal Data. In Fleet, Med Pack, Security Scanners, Hypo Syringes, that never changes. And then Marin plus one refresh. I think at this point I'm at like 50 out of 100. Today's 
Thursday. Uh, so I will probably seven star Marin in two weeks, give or take. Maybe three, but we'll see. And uh, my goal for next week is to have Dooku at Relic 6, Chief Chirpa at G12. That is my last Leia requirement. That is not a marquee. Uh, and then another SLKR requirement up to G12, and then one more G11. Uh, hopefully Kanan is what I want, because I want to put the Zeta on Kanan to make the Phoenix fights in Conquest a little easier. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it greatly, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like, subscribe, comment in the comments section down below, and you can join me on Twitch or Discord. Both have links in the description. I hope to see you guys there.